Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are starting our Grand Theft Auto Vice City series. Same rules apply, we're only going to kill people that are in our way and who are ordered to and try to limit the accidental followers goal. What? What kind of fucking title is that? What? That should not be the title, but... Okay. I just updated the title on my screen. Wow. <laughs> you have allergies too, Silgar. Hey, yeah. Way to redeem that the first again. Yeah. At least this one gets you, um... At least this one in like change it to games and demos but holy though I didn't even update the title fix this title here force we have our Again, these allergies are just so fucking annoying right now, man. Like, fuck. Like a faucet. But yeah. Same rules. Like I said. Only killing. We're only killing who's um, in our way. Who we're ordered to kill. And try to get the access to the minimum. Let's try to get under 20 this time, guys. This is going to be a longer... A little bit longer series, I think. Tommy Vassetti? <laughs> Shit. Didn't they ever let him out? He kept his head San Andreas will be probably the longest in this trilogy, so we're not going to get anything out of the way. It will be bad for business. Well, game takes we place so? in 1986. Keep him, like and keep him busy out of town, okay? We've been talking about expanding down south, right? Vice City is 24 karat gold these days. The Colombians, the Mexicans, hell, even those Cuban refugees are cutting themselves a piece of some nice action. But it's all drugs, Sonny. None of the families will touch that shit. Times are changing. The families can't keep the backs turned while our enemies reap the rewards. So, we send someone down to do the dirty work for us and cut ourselves a nice quiet slice, okay? Who's our contact down there? Ken Rosenberg. Schmuck of a lawyer. How's he gonna hold Vassetti's leash? We don't need him to. We just set him loose in Vice City. We give him a little cash to get started, okay? Give it a few months. Then we go down. Pay him a little visit, right? See how he's doing. Or if we play as Tommy Vassetti, this is our first voiced character, voiced by Ray Liotta. It's uh, Ken Rosenberg here. Hey, hey, great, hey. Well, uh, I'm gonna drive you guys to the meet, okay? Now, I've talked to the suppliers, and they are very uh, keen to start a business relationship. So, uh, if all goes well, we should uh, be doing very nicely for ourselves, which is, you know, good. Of course, the fucking okay, so lawyer. They're brothers, okay? One operates the, uh, the business, and the other one does the... Of course, in the original series okay, on PS2, you can, you can see right, the people for the ambush. The they want a straight exchange on open ground. All right? Okay, stay tight. Let's go. Like, in that uh, little garage part, you would see people there. Now you can see them now, but you would you would have saw them earlier in the um, PS2 version, because... Got it? 100% pure grade A Colombian, my friend. Let me see it. The greens? 10s and 20s. Used. I think we have a deal, my friend. <laughs> I don't know why he sounds weird. I mean, well... Oh, shit. This is how he sounds originally, but in Vice City stories, you play as Victor Vance, and he sounds a whole lot different. So does Lance Vance, by the way. my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fate shovel shit in my face go get some sleep what are you gonna do i'll drop by your office tomorrow and we can start sorting this mess out so yeah, this game 
game came out in 2002, the year right after Grand Theft Auto 3. Nice 1980s soundtrack on this game. This is also the game that started adding a lot of firsts to the series, like changing clothes, buying properties. They added the bikes. You can actually jump out of, you can actually, you know, bail from vehicles this time. Still can't swim though. I didn't even see the pink marker, to be honest. Yeah, more enteral buildings now this time. Hello, Sonny. Tommy! Tommy, it's been too long. I know, I know, you're just overwhelmed with emotion. Fifteen years. Seems like only yesterday. I guess that's a perspective thing. Hey, doing time for the family is no piece of cake, but the family looks after its own, okay? So how'd the deal go down? You sitting on some white gold? Look, Sonny, we were set up. The deal was an ambush. Harry and Lee are dead. You better be kidding me, Tommy! Harry Tell and me Lee you still got the money. We were dating for Italians? No, Sonny. I don't have the money. That was my money, Tommy! My money! You better not be screwing me, Tommy, because you know I'm not a man to be screwed with. Wait, Sonny. You have my personal assurance that I'm going to get you your money back and the drugs, and I'm going to mail you Tommy the dicks for those Sandy, I'll, I'll, I'll assume it's a main that. man in the You're Ferrelli fool, Mafia. Tommy, but I warn you, neither am I. If it was anybody else, you'd be dead already. But because it's you, because we got history, I'm going to let you handle this. Look, Sonny, you got my word. I'll be in touch. Yeah, no idea on his actual rank in the Mafia, but... <laughs> yeah, this is back when Liberty City had like three Mafias. Sadako, Safarelli's, and of course Leon's. Alright, let's go see the lawyer. Again, we are going to try to get all the side missions out of the way. All the asset missions. 99% of the asset missions. Might just skip the strip club one. Alright. But yeah. GTA 6 is supposed to come back home to Vice City. It's going to be good. I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine and then I'm gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired Colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? Yeah, I we, I still say in this, in the but end, we no still don't really know I'm who going out there, fucked over the deal. The door. No I way, told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't going to be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go. Come on. Okay, respectable. <laughs> Again, one of the features with the 
changing of the clothes? Not dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Yeah, like, we move a lot faster, too, in this game, like... Like the Italian Sonic. This was also the first Vice City game, I mean, I mean, first Grand Theft Auto game that I believe had to make some major changes post-release. So Grand Theft Auto 3, they did some changes to the game after 9-11 happened, because of 9-11. But I don't think they made changes after release, but this is one of the first few games they had to make changes after release. Because the Haitians, the Cubans, were like, not happy with the way they were represented in this game. So Rockstar released a Haitian-friendly version of it. Which I don't have. I have the original version. There are subtle differences, but yeah. And obviously San Andreas, you know, with a major thing with the uh, coffee mod and all that. This was also the first Grand Theft Auto game, like, without cheats, that you can actually shoot people's heads off or cut them off. Because Grand Theft Auto 3, they had, you know, the ability to shoot people's heads off, like arms and legs off, but that was all locked behind a cheat, which they did not port over to the uh, Definitive Edition here, but...
<laughs> I can only apologize. Hey, Ricardo oh, Diaz. Not, amigo. How do we find you? <laughs> Top Our drug pin in this city. Dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cole. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go. Let's get the out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the pole position. Drinks. And we got to here to the strip club. Okay. I'm supposed to steal this guy's I mean, that Lambo. Or Ferrari. I can't remember what his model was. Will you be working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. It's so difficult having a rich. It's funny because the uh the hand rests in the lap. You can only get that line if you're driving the car. If you took the bike, you don't get that line. But yeah, there's a lot more side missions than that to do in this game. Come on. Like you know, like just odds and ends shit to get like. 100% completion. I know, like, See, they still had the um, 100 hidden packages. They sure upped the rampages. The ramp. I think they upped the rampages and they kept them the same. The unique stunts, though, they upped. It's so, like, unique. So the unique stunts in GK3 is only 20 of them. In this game, I think there's like 32 or 36. The money. You, uh, you don't make a lot of money in this game. Which is a shame, right? Like, obviously, we're just gonna do the, we're not gonna do all the side missions, like, like, police and big stunts and random odds and any shit to get the uh, money. But we're just gonna see how much money we get at the end of the game too. It's not a lot for supposed to be being a drug kingpin, right? At the end. All right. Back Alley Brawl. Ah, well, I hope you're having a good time, because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a lead from the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I'll go pay him a visit. It's so like, this is also a game.
Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. I'll kill you! <laughs> yeah, let's beat the shit out of him. Yeah. And of course, we get the cell phone. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? And what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go all long range on my ass. The way Bass I fans. See, we two Fuck hombres em. in a strange town. We need to watch each other's back. My it back's is, just fine, is. brother. Uh, I guess it sounds strange. Here, take this. Follow me. This way. Don't make me angry. Yeah, I don't know if we want to fight them. We don't have to, I would say. One thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shop's a couple of blocks away. I still love, like, the way this game is. Like, yeah, this is his car, but yeah, we have to drive it. No, Lance, how about you fucking drive and then I sit in the passenger seat? Fuck, man. Video game logic. Right. Go to ammunition. All we have is a hundred bucks on us. Fuck all for money. Alright. Well, yeah, this is when the uh, ammunition changed to what it's be. They'll explain the weapons. All right, back to the hotel. I like not killing random people. Fuck, I don't know how long it was before I had my first accidental death in a kill in a me. Anyways, let's mark off one for allowed. I'm gonna go see what I can dig up. I'll be watching you, Tommy. Obviously, the kill counts are gonna get higher. Each game. Um. San Andreas is gonna be the hardest only because of the um, game territory shit. Hey, uh, Leo, I think we got a buyer for Diaz's merchandise. You gotta give him a ring, man. Set up the deal, you know? Where are you now? You okay, Leo? You sound kinda different. Just tell me where you are. Who the hell is this? Put Leo on, man. Leo's gone away for a while. He left me in charge. Screw you, man. And of course, you know, that could have been a lead, but we lost it. Show me your license. Oh, shut up, pig. Alright, well, make our save here. So, you know, we don't overrate, overwrite our, um, again, 100% save file. Sorry, what? All right, let's go back to the lawyer. 
Now, one of the hardest missions at it at the time when this game came out was Demolition Man. Of course, we'll have to eventually do that, but it's, it's not as hard anymore. All right, sports cars. Jerry Fury, all right. Ah, oh, oh, for God's <laughs> sake, it's you. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna need new pants. And pissed hey, himself. Those from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that part oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those Guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now, look. It's either that or Ferelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about no, it. No, 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 no! I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. Guys, you shut the fuck up and sit your ass in the chair. Fuck. Dumb Florida moron. Dumb Florida moron. <laughs> uh, love it. I'm not talking to you, buddy. Go back to your homes. Florida does not want you. Anarchism. Please. <laughs> All right, we don't have to go far for the first one. The ammunition Um dead 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 Oh so uh, yes ammunition is where you buy weapons The tool store is where you buy melee weapons Ah the classic sounds Can't remember what this car is though but Again just fond memories of this game too right So like I said earlier, GTA 3 came out in 2001. This game came out in 2002. And then we wouldn't, we wouldn't get another Grand Theft Auto game until 2004 when San Andreas was released. How are you, my friend? Alright. Kid Money on the scene, freak. All right, throw him with the gun. Oh no! Hey man, my car! Leave my damn car alone, man! Yo man, I still got payments to make on this. Yeah, fuck oh, your please, car. God. Someone help me! Is a dirty word. There we go. That's one done. Nothing wrong with a little, you know, jury intimidation. The fuck out of the truck. Yeah, I think one of the biggest influences on this game was Scarface. So, like, Ken Rosenberg himself, the inspiration for his character came from the movie Carlitos Way of That Lawyer, who I honestly can't remember who he played up. I think it was Sean Penn played the lawyer in Carly this way and that was pretty much the inspiration for Ken Rosenberg. If you watch the movie Carlito's Way, he looks exactly like Rosenberg in a way. Alright, let's go see the last juror. Juror! And then yeah, it's gonna work tomorrow. Probably do a DVD stream tomorrow after work, and then I'm off 
Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, so I'm trying to get some more streams in those days. I'm off for three days because I go back to nights now. Done the day shit shit, so. And nights is usually Tuesday, Saturday, so. I can also break windshields in this game too. Get it? Everybody, well, let me get to it. I can't believe this is happening. Giorgio sends his regards. Ah! And it's done. 400 bucks. Let's go. Slowly making some money, right? Wow, we seven hundred dollars. What the fuck are we gonna do with that? Like what a joke, as the license plate says. Yeah, I'll probably stream this for like eight thirty nine, then call it a stream because again, I gotta go to bed for a six a.m. start tomorrow. Okay, thank God it's the last time I have to get up at fucking five in the morning for work. You look Whoa! Motherfucker. Look at this, don't get out and kill him. Any other playthrough, I'm like, yeah. I'm thinking about this card shooting them, but. Not this one. Also, rest in peace, Ray Liotta, let's be honest, you know. Hey, Tommy, it's Sunny. How's the suntan? I ain't got no suntan. We ain't got my money either, so I'm one of them myself. What are you doing? So tell me, Tommy, what are you doing? I'm working on it. Money, Sonny. Don't worry. I am worrying, Tommy. That's my style because I seem to have this problem in my life with unreliable people. Don't be an unreliable person, Tommy. Please do us both a favor. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Look, we've literally been in Vice City for how long? A day? Yeah, one day. And he's already calling us again. Funny, like, come on, Sonny. Holy fuck. What the f Alright. So this is pretty much our hotel room, and the more shit we do, like, the more stuff we'll be. Get to the payphone next to the mall in Washington. Alright. GTA 3, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, like all the weapons from the hidden packages will appear like in here and then obviously at other pro posts Some of your other properties All right, so we also now have the assassination missions There's like five of those in the game So let us, um, uh, let's do the first assassination mission, get us a little bit more money. We'll add to our kill count. Road kill. Mr. Teal, your help in eradicating those out of towners was invaluable to business. I have more work for you. More and on approach. Your next job is taped under the phone. Leo might be Mr. Teal. Alright. Let's go kill this guy. Claudia.
Oh, if we if we can catch up to him, right? Whoa, got not really killed by that cop car. We're like so close yet so far away. Not trying. Succeeding. Ooh, the Phoenix. It's a nice looking car. For a second there, I thought this was like the 1980s Banshee. Set for the um, no swearing challenge live stream for Saturday. I probably I'll, I'm going to do it Saturday or Sunday, but it'll be this weekend. Oh, whoa! Fuck, man, get the fuck out of the way! <laughs> this guy also has like the world's fastest pizza scooter. Like, I've never seen a piece of scooter this fast in my fucking life. I don't remember it being this fast either, either too. Like, this scooter doesn't have this top speed when you drive it. Nope. Almost there. Oh, okay, we missed him, we missed him, we missed him. Oh, no, are you okay, buddy? Now let's go see the lawyer. Oh, uh, let's just mark that up. So we've been fight safe for a day. We've killed two people so far. <laughs> also, I believe the uh, police cars, the shotguns, you no, know, same rule applies. Let's see what Ken Rosenberg wants us for us now. Again, a lot of these missions are quick too. Avery goes without saying. Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 no. Tell me later. Tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party. Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any grease balls giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay, what could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could Sounds drop by Rob Hills for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Yeah, he doesn't really have an office, or we don't really... Anyway, lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks. <laughs> pricks, you're all... Oh, wait. Never mind. Dicks, you're all dicks, Pristetti will say sometimes. At least we don't have to worry about Catalina and Spank and all that bullshit no more. Alright, let's get some change of clothes again. Sneak in. 
this because all we do is just put on overalls and a hat over our fucking shirt. Right, let's go start a riot. You better drive fast break. Yeah, I'll probably do a DVD stream tomorrow. As well. Or maybe Fatal Frame. Not too sure yet. You're too stupid. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Fuck you. Gonna be one or allowed. All right, we'll add three. Well, yeah, like I think the stats are more. There's, oh yeah, they also added more rampages in this game. Rating nobody special, really. <laughs> Tires popped the gunfire. Oh, well. anyways, did they tell us people killed, or did they also get rid of that out? There's also the uh, stores to rob. You can fly better. Ah, uh, I can't remember what else there is. Yeah, different. A bunch of all different stuff. Yeah, we don't need to go to the mall. We are gonna head back. Save. Get some health. I wish they brought the feature from Vice City Stories into this game in the update. Like, Vice City Stories, like, when you died... They had an option, like, you spent $2,000 to get all your weapons back and all that. Might have been the same thing getting busted too, but... Can't remember that much, but yeah, it was a awesome feature at the time. Oh, I died. Here's two grand. Weapons back. Where are you all these fucking overalls, though? Hola, is this Mr. Versetti? Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah. Eh? Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. Yeah, if yeah, If you'd yeah. like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat. Huh? Okay? Good day, senor. And then we get more missions available, so... <laughs> Freaking hit me? I'll freaking hit you. Let's go work for Avery first, because we unlock Avery first. I think that was it for Ken Rosenberg too, by the way. So get some Ooh. But yeah, like finding all the hidden packages too, you get like and you know, buying stuff and getting the shit completely add shit to like your personal places. This is a fun little thing. Alright, let's oversave this. Okay. Back to full health, which is great. Back on the pizza bike. And let's go see Avery.
Yeah, so for gains in this city, you don't really come across much. I mean, you have the Colombians. No, you have the Cubans, but the Cubans won't hate you. The Haitians, after a point, will hate you. You get some kind of gang north of this map and that they're like nothing. And you obviously have, you know, Ricardo Diaz's gain and then your gain afterwards. That's once you kill Diaz and take over his operation. Construction business ain't for whips. Nice office, Avery. Yeah, they show the driver, but not Avery in the back. Still didn't do that, eh? Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin paper pushing. Obviously it's not. about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. <laughs> And just like that, we have a membership in the golf place. Which... The only reason they go in the golf place is for uh, hidden packages, maybe some unique studs. That's about it, though. But even then, it's like you don't need a membership to get go in there. Ugh. Once again, those changing. Also, I don't know if I mentioned it, but if you have. Nice ass, baby. But yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it, but if you have like a one-star wanted level or a two-star wanted level, you change clothes, no, no, those stars automatically go away. They also changed the uh, pain spray thing too. So like, in Grand Theft Auto 3, the pain spray, you know, auto disappears. Like your, your wanted level disappears once it's done. This game changes, like, it, start, it starts flashing, and if you do something in, like, the 20 or 30 seconds, you keep, the stars all come back. So, you have four stars, you go do, you know, go in the pace spray, you accidentally run over, hit a cop car on the way out, whatever, whatever out, boom, four stars again. Yeah, it's all good. So there was a trophy for this mission. And you get a free golf club. So there was a trophy for this mission, which you have to kill the um, guy with a golf club. Let go of some business, buddy. Who is this guy? Boys, deal with him. Get him to that psycho. Ah! <sighs> Try not to kill the bodyguards. Graduation present. Please, after you. All right. Hey, we did it. It's only killing one person. Nice. Nice. Let's go. She wore her spikes in the clubhouse. Ah, I can't knock him over. This is what I call the hot bird sweep. Oh, they're still after us. God damn. Hap. 
breaking ankles. <laughs> breaking ankles. Breaking ankles. Damn, these clubs keep getting worse and worse. Come on, Daddy needs to sink this one. Ah, well, I was looking at them to. Uh, I was looking at the security guards to. Um, kill the guy for me, but clearly not happening. Clearly not happening. All right. Let's get all these golf club clothes, cause nobody likes those. Hit the brakes before we sneeze so we don't, you know, accidentally run over people. Yeah, those bodyguards, if we wanted to, I could have killed with the allowed status, but chose not to. What are these clothes? Holy fuck, man. <laughs> also, these allergies can also go away, too. Holy fuck. Clean clothes. Let's go. Back in the call, yeah. Also, like this game with some convertibles, you just jump right in. Like some of us in this comment, which is also a cool new thing they added. <sighs> you couldn't do that in GTA 3. Bonus. I just want to get over. <laughs> All right, let's see what Avery wants us to do next. Demolition man. Here we go. The iconic and notorious demolition man. Now look here, son. I got a problem, and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now, this here, uh, this is the development as planned, and this, this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. Now, I'm going to head out of town for a while, and if that office development would have faced sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I... As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? All right. Get out of my freaking way! So, I believe... The uh, devil, the uh, security were allowed to kill, but I not to. <sighs> right. Okay, so the easiest way with this mission. 
Well, two easy ways to do this mission. One is to kill everybody with the RC helicopter. That's obviously one. What the? F what was that? Obviously, the other way is what we're going to do. Well, I mean, killing the RC, hey, even the killing the guards, no matter what, is. Oh, all right. The best way to do this mission, though, is to start top to bottom. Did he die? If he died, that's one kill. We're allowed to kill these guys. They are in our way. Those are the rules. Yeah, I don't think anyone really liked this mission back in the day due to its... how hard it was. But again, when I was doing this for the uh, PS2 version, for the... Um, Platinum, I got it first try, no problem. Like it's one of those things that like when you get older it gets easier especially since you know, you've played this game multiple times so you fucking know what to expect you want me to drill you oh we didn't do that okay all right not bad not bad two more to go Look at all these guys chasing us. Again, the trophy for this mission was to kill everybody in the RC helicopter, so... But since we can't really, you know, get more trophies, because we platinumed it... We're just going to focus getting the mission done. Wow, these guys are really dedicated to getting rid of this RZ chopper. Right. Buttons over here. Only one more to do. Bro, I'm not gonna count all these people because we're gonna assume they escaped in time. Oh, we do have one kill to add for a total of five right now, if I can, um, you know. This last bomb dropped off. Right, mission done. Infamous Demolition Man. Done. Let's go. Damn. I'll 
also, we were going for 100% in that, you know, like, because we didn't do anything yet. That would have been our first fire truck chance to get. I believe because I can't remember where the fire station is on this side. Oh yeah, I don't think there was a fire station on this side of the map. I think it might have just been the one on the one side. All right, let's go see the colonel. This Avery's out of town for a couple days. You know, convenient. Confidently out of town. So yeah, this is pretty much the map of Vice City. We have access to this island, and I think we also get access to this island too. Eventually we'll get access to here. And then finally access to this island. I know you're not seeing anything. That is a Rockstar logo uh, swimming pool. I think this is the first mission for a colonel. We get the um, my favorite melee weapon in the game to use. We'll grab the pistol though, right? I was gonna get more ammo. That's if it was raining though. Yep. Mr. Versetti. Colonel. Thank you for coming. Please sit. Lobster. No, thanks. Uh, I am ashamed to admit that one of the causes of our mutual problem appears to have been the loose tongue of a man I used to trust. I've been carrying Gonzalez for years, but now his incompetence reaches new heights. It's only right that you kill Gonzalez. Did he do it? It's the money that's important to me. For well, this kindness, I'll reward you. And then, we will find your money together. He will be at his penthouse, half drunk probably. Use this. All right. We get the chainsaw! A proper made for our heritage. <laughs> Which the chainsaw was only in Vice City, San Andreas, I think, and then Vice City Stories. So, what's in the main of the GTA games? But it's nice to have the chainsaw back in the game to play while we use it, right? It's like, unlike a lot of the other melee weapons, the chainsaw is a one-hit kill. And you can also ride with it running to get multiple people at one, you know, go. Alright, let's go kill Gonzalez. That fat piece of shit. Oh no, my car! That I stole! Oh, there's the police bribes. I'm gonna shut that big mouth of yours. Hey, he's got a blade! Stop running, you fat slime ball! Ah! Keep away from me, you cheap bastard! <laughs> I also never made it like that far in the game. Perfect. 
God damn it! We just got our first accidental kill. She decides to jump in front of us. Fucking women. One allowed kill, one accidental. Uh, yep. So we've killed seven people so far. Six we are allowed slash ordered to. And of course, one person who we're not supposed to kill, killed because she decided to jump in front of us. All right, back to the Colonel for our next task. Yeah, I'm very excited for GTA 6. Like, it's like everybody wanted to go back to fight safe for like the longest time, right? And we are going back to fight city. We almost hit that cop car. Fucking rain making the road slippery. All right, ball shootout. Ooh, all right. Him and his problems in the French. Tommy, come and join me. This looks delicious, eh? Cap your snout. No, 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 no thanks. No, Tommy, you are like a pompous breeze that has freed me from the stench of corruption. Although I must appear to mourn his passing and carry on with business as usual. This isn't getting me any closer to my money. No. Nope. Tommy, my friend, you are not in liberty now. Here, we do things differently. I will continue yeah, with like my Yeah, like dog fuck around with the money. I have a valuable deal to Favor for a friend, Cortez? You're a good friend, Tommy. I knew you would not let me down. I need you to meet a courier who has obtained some valuable technology for me. At Vice City, we do things differently. Yeah. You guys stick around and not get things done. We gotta do a fuck look around here. We gotta figure shit out. Because one thing you'll learn is that everybody for getting information or helping out is absolutely fucking useless. Yeah, so there's technically two malls in this game. This one here sucks. The other ball up north is the better one. Does he actually enter in that? Let's have a pistol. We're good. Can you tell me where my boy has gone? What? A lot of Spanish in this game. The rain. She's très wet this time of the year. What? Ah, come on. Look. Cortez sent me. Just give me the damn chips. We oh, totally need to find a phone and get limo. Please, imperialist American pig. That is propriétaire of a gouvernement français. Hand it over. You American trail. idiot. They followed you here. Shoot, Shoot him. Him. You got to do better, Mr. Snell. Whoa.
Whoa! Slow, fat American poophead! God damn it! Hey there, Mama! For the car, buddy! He's getting away! But very slowly! Stars. Whoa! 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 We're just trying to get back without killing any at randoms, civilians. Yeah, we just chased on him to send a fucking message. This we didn't lose much health at the um ball there, but there's health there that we have to grab. If we need it. Oh yeah, the police will throw uh spike stripes strips down in this game too. The other thing they added. <laughs> Five hundred bucks. Wow, you cheap prick. Guardian Angels, all right. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought uh. you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the I forgot to knock off that, Diaz's um, evil. courier. Diaz, huh. Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. All right. This is, I think this is all, this is also the last game with first person shooting for AR guns, well, assault rifle guns. So I don't think any of the uh, San Andreas guns had that. Think about it now, no. I mean, obviously the sniper rifles, yeah, and the rocket launchers, but yeah, no, it's like the first... This was the last game to have, like, guns that... Hey, assault rifles that have first person. Hogging all the action, I see. Look, you want Fuck to you do something are. other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti, let's go. Nobody cares, Lance. Yeah, so we got the Kruger. Yeah, that's what I mean by like, first person shoot. Like the M16 in GTA 3 had the. I can't remember this gun had a different name on the PS2 port. Might have always been the Kruger. I think it's like Beta was named differently, but. They renamed it afterwards. All right. Yeah, fuck your Lamborghini. Or your weird Ferrari. Come on, roll. Again, I'm not too sure what the furnace was based on. the boss is driving for you must be called Tessa's new gun until more gainful opportunities arise we'll be here any minute we both better get a good vantage point okay I'll take the balcony you get the roof across the yard
First comes the Cubans. Yeah, L3 can crouch too. We are in big time, man. This is what I call serious business, man. I said, you understand me now? Shit! Don't worry, I got you covered. Alright. Uh, I don't think we got him to kill. There's one. At least one. Two. At least two people there. Three. Four. At least four for sure. Five, six, seven, eight. Kills for sure. <laughs> and that brings us to eleven. Oh, yeah, we can't just drive over it. Cheap game. I live. Take heads. And it's all down to you. What is your right, name? Let's knock off right. 11 on this list. See you soon, amigo, I think. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Shit, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There you go. All right. So we are at overall 19 kills. 18 ordered and allowed. One accidental, because again, like I said, a woman decides to jump in front of us. Only hot! We'll do a quick save at the hotel. And answer the Sorry, cell phone. It's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I asked that prick called Seth, he said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is big heads. Big heads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Makes us real, will make us really rich, eh? Just how rich we talking about? Rich enough to get our fucking money back? All right, let's go start the Diaz missions. I love you like my sister, but honey, you fall and pray. And this is where we get access to Starship Starfish Island. Bro, there's a little 
little bit slippery there. Surprise! Yeah, if you ask a lot of old school Grand Theft Auto players what their favorite game is, the series, a lot of them will say Vice City. Assassination mission available, all right? There's five of them. Though the only the, you can't get the fifth one unless you have the Malibu Club yeah. and you complete the yeah. asset. Don't be home. I'll chop your head off. Who is this thickhead? Tommy Versetti. You remember me? Excuse me. I'm a little anxious. Never trust a goddamn horse. Right. You do a good job. You work for me now. I work for money. As I said, amigo, you work for me now. I work Shut for Shut up! Money. Some Judas has betrayed me. He thinks I don't know how much money I should be making. But stealing 3% is as good as stealing 100%. Okay. No one does this to me. No one. You follow him from his apartment, and you see where he goes. Later. We will kill you. All right. This asshole thinks he can mess with me? If this is the best Vice City has to offer, this is gonna be easy. All right. Farewell Ranch, the only way to ride into the... Let us go ball this guy. Yeah, there's a couple of Scarface references in this game. Like, there's a man, there's a obviously the mansion interior looks like the Scarface mansion. There's a um, house. They can enter with a chainsaw in the bathroom, a bloody bathtub, a reference to the hotel room in Scarface. My car. Yeah, fuck your car. Oh. Don't even get the police involved. Have a look through his window, okay. Not all. Oh, shit! Loser! Whoa, he's shooting at us. Yeah, so you better keep on running, asshole. All right, we're good. Yeah, they want us to take the bike. We gotta fall. This is the hard part, right? Because he can't hit you at times, right? Cause you lose your health. Get too close to him, right?
Oh, what well, we got close to us? Of course, you know, the cops don't care. Security guards are trying to shoot at him. Cops don't care, though, eh? Just dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge our way Felicia. Got a lucky shot at us there. Whoa! Alright, well, we had to get closer. I was waiting for them to drive in. I make you rich, my friend! Really? A thousand bucks makes us rich. Well, it's barely nothing, right? Fucking first mission we did for Luigi, we got paid a thousand bucks. Like, we have not spent any money in this game yet. So technically, we only made like $6,400. And obviously, $89 we picked up from a few dead bodies, but... Yeah, like, fuck all of us. But this is what I mean, like, you don't make much money in this game. Alright, we'll do this the next assassination mission, and then we'll see what's next. <laughs> Waste the wife. When I dropped bells on Mr. Teal, my client was very pleased. I have more work for you, Mr. Moore, and on approach. Your next job is taped under the phone. It must look like a car accident, okay. And again, to avoid any, like, Muted audio, we gotta turn off the radio. She got fast there, but oh well. Let's worry about hitting people. Oh my god, get the fuck out of my way! I can't remember if the PSD version you're actually able to like shoot the car to damage even more, but like well, Obviously we're not gonna risk it All right, everybody's alive we're good We are good She's so scared! <laughs> and the mission's almost done, at least, right? Oh my god! 
So are we! Ah! Alright, we failed. Michael? We were too close to the scene of the accident. Well, fuck this over was the, um... Have you no compassion, man? Car, you know, also catching on fire so we're unable to, like, drive away. Though so we should have drove and bailed, but obviously it was not thinking. Still alive, okay, cool. Alright. Oh my god! I'm not talking to you, Buzzy! And we actually got a star running into that cop car, but it's all good! It says if you commit a crime, your full level will be reinstated. That's what I was talking about earlier. The flashing stars. The plan was, is we're pretty much... No fucking way, we just missed that. Holy shit. She ran over that guy. The drivers. But at least this way, you know, we also have more health, so we can do more damage to her. Just got lucky and missed that, alright. Alright, so far we've... Boy, didn't kill anybody accidentally. Ah, uh, what? Obviously, I had to redo that. My compliments on it. So, like, I don't think you... If he did that in the PS2 original version, that would happen, but... Obviously, remastered version, they also made some changes to the game. That was one of them. Like, one bullet on the tire, and we instantly failed. Which sucks, but what are we going to do about gonna cost us motherfuckers got cut us off phone call from another Thunder Bay number which obviously we do not know scammers are desperate
All right. So we'll cross off one for allowed, one for accidental. Since we accidentally ran over somebody else that time. We got lucky too with that, with the car flipping over like instantly, so yeah. Pick it up, you know, cars. We got bail ours. See, ours was like even one hit away. Like, wow. We got lucky. Chivalry is so totally dead. Telling me. I thought it was woman who killed itself. I'm gonna go save it. I'm gonna call it a stream. I'm getting really tired here. Just start getting ready for bed since again. 6 a.m. start. <laughs> but we will do a longer live stream tomorrow for sure, so. Guys, don't have to worry about that. Just updated our uh, first page here. Goes acting up. We lost the follower. I was gonna love it, right? You go stream, you try to gain followers, you know, hit your goals, and then boom, people unfollow. Like, gee, thanks. Dude, Appreciate it. That's okay, baby girl. That's Alright, so we will have to update our next title to 175 out of 200 followers. We were at 177 last time I streamed. No. Oh, two days ago. No, not last time. Because last stream we were down at 176. The stream before that, we made it to 177. And then sometime or whatever, we lost one. And now we lost another. Which is funny, like, you literally load me up, see me playing a game, see me live streaming, and you're like, yeah, we're gonna unfollow, fuck this guy, right? Hey, can't force people, right? Alright, we're gonna call a stream here, guys. I will see you all tomorrow with some DVD. Or Fatal Frame, one of the two. Anyways, guys and girls, take care.